I'm Paula Rhodes and I play Wendy Darling. Well, I was pretty funny looking. <laughs> I had really massive glasses, but uh, only one prescription, so it was like a monster eye and a regular eye. And uh, my teeth were too big for my face for a long time. Uh, my skin went through some adventures. Uh, you know what? So I developed a healthy sense of humor to battle that. And then I went through Operation Cool in junior high where I read magazines. I was like, I'm gonna try to be cool, darn it. <laughs> you know, it was wonderful. My childhood, I, I have a lot to be thankful for. Um, primarily my parents and, and family uh, were pretty wonderful, although terribly embarrassing. Well, in second grade on career day, I wore my nicest dress and a name tag that proudly declared that I was the first female president slash astronaut slash author slash fashion designer. So, I loved exploring other stories and um, the kind of universal human experiences uh, that can occur through different worlds. Uh, I loved fantasy and sci-fi and all things that I wasn't living in, you know, suburban Missouri. So uh, it gave me a wonderful outlet for imagination, exploring and trying on different hats. And there's something so terribly relatable about the fact that we all kind of get to that point that we're afraid to grow up, that we realize all that we're leaving behind and all that we'll have to face. Um, for me, I was a kid who wanted desperately to grow up from the time I was like four. I was like, I'm an adult. Why isn't anyone treating me like this? Um, <laughs> so uh, by t until I got to like way too late, like 22, all of a sudden I was like, wait, whoa, hit the bricks. I don't want to be, <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't want to be an adult. Taxes what? Um, so uh, yeah, I feel Wendy's pain. I think especially today in this world and in and, and our rendition of Wendy, uh, battling with that societal pressure of you're supposed to be doing this now and then you hit this age, you should probably be at this point. Um, biological clocks, tick tock, tick tock, crocodile clocks, tick tock, tick tock. Uh, the way that the story is crafted in our world, um, it speaks to a lot of people. It spoke to me. Uh, I love readdressing that issue because I'm not sure that not wanting to grow up is something you ever actually grow out of. Woo! <sighs> I don't think you can necessarily compare the two only because they're two different types of kisses. You have that um, first long-awaited um, innocent young love kiss and you have that uh, I'm an adult, I'm in a relationship, I care about this person kiss. So they're coming from two different spots, both wonderful. Um, I think you're actually asking me to evaluate the actors, <laughs> in which case I think it would be funnier to ask Kyle uh, and Percy if, if they're the better kisser and just have them. They should kiss each other on the side, because really, <laughs> is there a kissing booth? Can I, can I, can I revisit to check? You know what? I'm gonna play the safe route then and be like, well, they're both wonderful, but my husband's the best. 